Chickity Chang, what's up, gangsters? Welcome to your 37th tutorial. What we're gonna do is work with some radio buttons and uh, working with a button group, getting everything set up. Now, uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna hop right into the tutorial. None of that fluff stuff where I just kind of talk before we get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is go up to our header. We're gonna say J radio button, and we're gonna set up four buttons within our radio group. So we're gonna say J radio button, and we're gonna label these four buttons B1, B2, uh, B3 and uh, B4. All right, pretty unique and creative names. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our group because we need a, a group that's like, you know, when our buttons get depressed, they come to this support group and the, the group just kind of holds everyone together. Um, so that's what this group is going to do. It's going to label all of our radio buttons in the same group. So we're just going to set up something called a button group and we're just going to label this group. Pretty awesome, right? Again, we just have to add our imports by Shift Command O, and uh, we're good to go. The next thing that we want to do is just for you know setting up this tutorial, we're going to create a, another J panel uh, to hold our radio group and our radio buttons, um, or our, our button group and our radio buttons. So we're just going to again call this P4 equals a new J panel, and uh, there we go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add this J panel to our current frame. So again, we did that within you know a line like this down here. So just right here, we're just going to say add um, P4, and then again border layout, and we'll have these guys be the west side gang. So we're just going to say uh, border layout west west goes and uh, save this. And then next thing that we're going to do is we're going to like I said add all of our buttons to our group. Um, and then we're going to add that group to our J panel. So right here, um, right below, you know, where we set up our panel four, we're just going to say uh, button one. And our button's kind of lost right now. He's like, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't know what I am. I don't know, uh, you know, what the meaning of life is. So we're just going to say he's a new J radio button. And, uh, you know, pretty basic. We can give it a title as well, like choice one. <clears throat> And, uh, and then we're going to do this for all of our buttons, so just B2. And the reason they call them radio buttons is because back in the day, before the digital age, uh, they had like these radios where if you had a song playing off your cassette tape and you hit the, the stop button, um, your play button would pop up and your stop button would go down. So essentially you could only pick one button on the radio at a time. So that's kind of the same concept of radio buttons in Java and we're only going to be allowed to pick one of these buttons. You guys have probably seen these multiple times um, on the internet and applications and stuff. But that's why it's called a radio button, I believe, or I just made that up. But either way, it's going to help you remember it. So we're just going to say a new um, again radio button for all these. Still typing because we're slow. And uh, there we go. We have our four buttons set up. They know what they are. They know that they have a string or something that they're going to display. And now what we have to do is we add, have to add all these buttons to our group and then obviously add our group to our panel, like I said. So, so we're going to refer to our group. Um, again, this is something called a button group. We're just going to say dot add. And what do we add? We add a button. So we're just going to say add button one. And we've added one button to our group. And we're just going to do this for all four buttons. So all four buttons are in the same group. So what this is essentially saying is we're adding all four of these buttons to our one group so only one of these buttons can be selected at a time. We could have set up another group and had like you know group two only have buttons three and four so you could select between those two and then for our first group you could select between those two um, one and two. But we're just going to have all four buttons within the same group. Hopefully you guys get the concept. Alright, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to set up the layout of all of our buttons onto our panel. I know I said, uh, you know, the group we need to set into the panel, but that's essentially what we're doing. Uh, we're just, you know, mapping out the buttons um, of, of that group, if that makes sense. Let's just get into it, because we're just going to say P4 add component, like we're so familiar with, and we're just going to say button 1, and we're just going to copy and paste this, again, because of laziness. And, you know, bam, bam, bam. And after we add all four of our buttons, let's check this out. Hopefully it gets, you know, something spe spectacular. Um, we're going to run this here. All right, and when we run this, we get an error because uh, we forgot to define what, define what group is, um, or, you know, our variable called group. So, you know, it's kind of weird that a, 
a, a button group also needs a support group as well. So we're just going to say uh, group is equal wow. to a new button group. And uh, there we're good to go. We're just going to run this. And uh, here you go. Uh, we have our four radio buttons. You can only select one at a time. We could sell this to AOL and we're good to go. So I'll catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.